I'm Tim Crumlin, one of the founders of Ligari Products. We spent the last three years building an extensive online training for the coding industry. It's called Ligari Academy. And the best part, it's affordable. But trust me, affordable doesn't mean cheap. It took over 20,000 man hours and over half a million dollars to create. There's absolutely not a better training anywhere for the coding industry. It doesn't exist. But it's not just the training. See, Ligari Products offers unparalleled support long after the training, as you build your business. Here at our headquarters, we've kind of made it really clear to everyone, we're only successful if we can make you successful. So put us to the test. Join the Academy today and get a partner that actually cares about your success. Welcome to the Academy. So we did two coats of texture coat, we did one coat of scratch coat, um, and then we stained it with our black stain. So as we were staining, we gave it an antique look by spraying the stain on and immediately rubbing that around until it was dry with just a clean white rag. Um, once the stain dried out, all the moisture evaporated, we did our matte urethane over it. So once we had all that done, our edges looked like some, some antiqued dark black concrete. We took our white primer, we primed the top surface of the wood. After that primer's dry, it takes about 45 minutes. What we're gonna do is we're gonna tape all our edges so it creates a dam, doesn't let the resin flow over yet. Um, and then we're gonna mix up our pigment of white and we're gonna use our black Ligari effects and we're gonna do our stone kit process which incorporates a dirty pour over the top. Now what's different about this one is we're gonna let this set up to where that resin is really thick and when we pull that tape, we're gonna let it drip down the sides and not rub it in and try to coat the edges so it looks like all these white and black marbleized drips. And then we're gonna let it set up like that instead of coating the whole side. So it should look really, really cool. For this one, we're just gonna go random. They turn out really cool when you go random. If I wanna add more black, I'll squirt some of the effects in. Just remember, you can't take the black color out. So if you wanna start with less, if you don't think you're getting enough color out there, you can always add some more. We want to basically get a template out of a design. I don't want to just start pouring and filling this whole corner up and then run out of resin, right? So what I'm going to do now is I'm noticing not a lot of black coming out. So I'm going to take our effects, always give them a little shake, and I'm just going to squirt a little bit, and then you'll see we'll get, we'll get some more black color coming out. So last thing guys is you can spray isopropyl, create a lot more cells, dispersing effects. We're not gonna do that because I like the look of this. So I'm just gonna mist it with denatured alcohol, let it evaporate five, 10 minutes and I'll mist it again. That's gonna eliminate all the bubbles, create a glass smooth surface. Now when we pull this, we wanna obviously try not to get epoxy down here, having the weather stripping on there. We have a gap on the top that we usually brush in with our fingers, but we figured out if we pull this at, down at an angle slow, it drags that resin to that edge. So I'll kind of show you guys if I pull it straight up. See how we got a gap? And we got to come back, brush all that in with our finger to the edge. But if I kind of let it string over there and coat that edge for us, we don't even have to touch it. Next thing we want to do is we got to make sure we don't have any dry spots. So we're just going to come in, slick off any spots that aren't touching that edge. That's gonna help it, let it flow over. 